How goes it guys? Dadbot Operator back again with another five minute quick comparison video and today we are putting the SIG MCX Virtus head to head with the Daniel Defense Mark 18. I'm going to go through all the different features of each one of the rifles and or pistols in front of you today and at the end I'm going to ask you if you can only have one of these two from now until the end of time, which one you grab? Up first is Big Hefty, the SIG MCX Virtus, chambered in 5.56. It features a 16-inch cold hammer forged barrel, short stroke piston operating system with two-position adjustable gas block for those adverse settings, i.e. suppressed. The handguard on this is super thick, and I'm thinking it's done so to accommodate the short stroke piston system on the inside. It is vertically robust, I'll put it that way, and, I th and it's really hard to get kind of a C-clamp over the top of it, but I think that they did that. So that, honestly, you have more room between the barrel and your hand, and the handguard does not heat up as quickly as some of the handguards that I have seen that are very close to the barrel. So, may have been done purposefully by SIG there for just that reason. Moving on down, we do have a fully ambidextrous lower with the exception of the bolt catch and bolt release so that means mag release on this side and ambi safety selector on this side ambidextrous charging handle as well and the biggest claim to fame for this is the 1913 attachment point there which gives you the ability to attach any type of stock that or brace that has a 1913 attachment giving you the ability to fold just like this it can also fire while folding, which is a great, great thing to include as well, because you never know whenever you might need to have that thing ready to rock without being able to fold it out. Furniture on this is pretty standard Sig Sauer grip with a Magpul stock. The stock is pretty wiggly and a little loose, and I'm probably going to end up replacing it just for that reason. Overall fit and finish on this is fantastic. The gray Cerakote is really nice and evenly applied all the way throughout. And it just seems to be a really great rifle. I'm gonna get it out and do some shooting with it here soon and hopefully we'll have a report for you with regards to its functionality and ease of operations as well. <clears throat> now let's get to the downside. This guy is as heavy as a fat kid's lunchbox. It all in weight is about eight pounds. So it is a little chunky, but it, I feel like it's worth it because that short stroke piston operating system is super robust. And the military is switching over to that because they are running suppressed on most of their stuff nowadays. Charging handle on this is mediocre at best, but the match light duo trigger that they included, not bad. Two stages, about two millimeters of take up. You do hit a, a, a very firm wall and then clear through to the brake. Reset on this, I am using snap caps guys, so don't freak out, is about two millimeters and is nice and audible. All in all, great rifle from Sig Sauer. And if you're looking for a 5.56 rifle, you're really gonna be hard pressed to beat something, to beat it with something else. Its competition today is the CQB Mastermind, the Daniel Defense Mark 18. This is World famous for its compact nature and features a 10.3 inch cold hammer forged barrel. Daniel Defense is well known for their barrels and this is one of their nicer examples. The rail on this is a Riz 2 rail. These were made for SOCOM for a really long time and were made for them because, see we got six bolts here for lockup. That guy is not going anywhere. You could drop that off a cliff and it would be happy on the ride down. This one features a Surefire Scout Light with touch pad, some Magpul Pro backup iron sights, aim point T2, Not, nothing ambidextrous with regards to the lower with the exception of the Radian Talon safety selector that I included, and I put it on the 45 degree setting. The Daniel Defense charging handle is really nice, I didn't see any reason to, to switch it out, and they call it their grip and rip charging handle, and I can confirm it is both grippy and rippy. This one includes also a Law Tactical Folder, which 100% cannot be fired while folding, but it does make it for a super compact op option here. You can see 
All in length on this is really, really compact. Overall fit and finish is also top notch for Daniel Defense. It does have a really great profile to it as well. And it does feature a SB Tactical SBA3 brace on the end with some QD attachment points as well. Because this is my home defense rifle, I kept the trigger mil spec. I actually took the trigger from my LWRC mil spec trigger from that rifle out of there and stuck it in this because it is a polished nickel trigger. It's about six pounds. There is not much of a wall. You just kind of push all the way through until you feel it give. Reset on this. Again, using snap caps, so don't panic. Nice audible, about two and a half millimeters of reset as well. You're gonna be really, really hard pressed to find a better CQB option for this. The Maxim Defense PDWs come to mind and also the Daniel Defenses for their PDWs also come to mind. But as far as five, five, six CQB options, good luck beating it. All right, guys, those are your options. You can only choose one of these two rifles from now until the end of time. Which one are you grabbing? See you next time.